In this video, we are going to talk about QA traceability reporting in JIRA using AIO tests. This report is used to understand requirements coverage against test cases and the associated defects. The benefit of this report is to improve transparency and facilitate risk management by tracking the relationship between requirements, tests, and their outcomes. Let us jump into how we can create this in AIO tests. We are on the Reports tab in AIO Tests. Let's generate a new traceability summary report. As a first step, we need to select the requirements. There are multiple ways of doing that and we are using the JQL option today to select all the stories for release 1.10. Next, we are going to select all the cycles tagged to release 1.10 to get the execution information. Now let's click on Generate to see the output. From the report, we can see that out of 11 requirements, 3 do not have any cases associated with them. The remaining 8 requirements have 60 cases and 6 defects linked. Defect status can be checked by clicking on the box. Pie charts display cases priority, execution status, and defect status. The table at the bottom shows each requirement along with its subtask, its coverage status, associated cases, execution status, percent of testing completed, and the number of defects. You can click on the numbers to see the associated cases and defects. If you need more details around the execution results, you can create a traceability detail report instead. Detail report lists down all the requirements, linked cases, detailed execution information, and associated defects. This is how you can generate traceability reports in JIRA to ensure complete test coverage and to easily track the execution progress. For any questions or comments, please feel free to reach out to our support team.